So the next one we have is Banks and Cabernet. This is just east of the Dalles, um, not that far away from here, and you'd be everyone is surprised by how close it is to the Gorge AVA and still provide the, the darkness and the richness that a typical Bordeaux varietal gives you. Um, a little more tannic than the Malbec, um, very close to us, probably about eight miles away. And this we've paired with Genoa Salami. That makes sense. Yes. Beautiful it's, color. It's very, yes, we're really happy with the oh. color. We were very lucky with this fruit. Um, um, it does take a lot of teasing. Most of the quality of <laughs> the book. Like <laughs> we do call it names, <laughs> but nice names. You bad fruit. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> And it's mellowed out over time. Again, a 15. So uh, we might have expected it, mm. depending on some of the some of the fruit coming off of the solder vineyard, really requires some aging. There's a lot of tannin coming off of that fruit. Uh, in this one, uh, we were able to release it a little bit earlier. And that's another vineyard we're going to visit. Today, yes, that's the another. Vineyard. So how vineyard. many vineyards are you sourcing your grapes from around here? Uh, from around here, the vast majority of fruit is from three vineyards. Nice. Yes, we are focused on interesting quality wines mm. and some wines will be small lots as with this one about 30 cases were produced wow that's yes. really good happy about that one i was really excited you know the fun thing about wine tasting coming back to a winery or a tasting room is you had like how many new varietals since the last time i was here six that's a lot <laughs> i wasn't here that long ago yeah so um you're going to take us out and show us at least two of the vineyards that you guys source your grapes from absolutely nice. yes you'll get Thank to see you. it from the vineyard <laughs>